hey guys what's up welcome to another tutorial from Krosna creation and in today's tutorial I'll be teaching you how to create an abstract 3d ring using a plugin in Maya called mash okay this plugin is available from uh, 2016 extension 2 and the higher version of Maya it is not available in any lower version so uh, with that being said let's get started with the tutorial now So uh, first let's take a poly cylinder and I need the subdivision axis to be 3 and height is around 40. You can just play with it not a problem and I don't need any faces for that. And let's just increase the height of this guy like so. Okay and uh, I don't want any faces like top face or bottom face so I'll just select the faces and just delete them like so. With that being done okay let's go to deep deform tab and in deform let's go to no linear and twist and twist go to the channel box twist one and the start angle needs to be around 360 okay with that being done select the polygon and go to deform no linear and bend and bend you need to change the curvature to around 180 degree so that it's a loop now okay for this loop you need to have add some uh, subdivisions for this how do you do that uh, hold shift and right click drag to multi cut tool and uh, hold control and just click okay hold control and click to add subdivisions hold control click hold control and click same thing repeats here Okay, uh, with that being done now, let's take a polysphere and uh, we'll reduce the size of this guy, like around, okay, this much is enough now. With that being selected, let's go to create and mash, create mash network. So many of these are created, let's open our outliner and go to mash. Control A to uh, attribute editor. Let's go to mash distribute. So in this, the mash distribute type is in linear. We don't want that, but we need mash here. Mash here. So uh, with that selected, go to mesh settings and the input mesh is not connected to anything. So uh, in the outliner tab, you can see the P cylinder that is the poly cylinder. Just drag and drop it to the input mesh. Okay. So now. It is connected to the mesh okay the poly uh, spear is connected to the mesh but let's change the method to uh, vortex mode and flooded mesh so uh, with that being done you might be wondering how it's gonna happen just select the poly cylinder and hit E and just rotate it like this okay it's working but that is not what we want. We want it to be automatically animated. So uh, let's select that and click on rotate Y and edit expressions. So if you come here, you just need to copy this line, copy this guy and control C to copy and control V to paste it here and space equals time into so uh, with that being done let's hit create here close it and now if you play it you'll see this animation here okay and uh, we don't want to see this guy here so uh, we'll just turn off the visibility like so okay the visibility is turned off so uh, let's go back to the first frame and hit play here okay that's it for now and uh, i hope you liked it and uh, if you want any tutorials to be done you can just comment below and i'll be doing that and subscribe to my channel and keep supporting and thank you see you until next time bye